if you think you can survive winter without a cozy blanket, I have a land in London to sell to you. Hi guys, good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time stopping by, hi, my name is Morola and you're welcome to this beautiful space on the internet. I hope you're having fun and I hope you're enjoying your December. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2 and I do hope that you're all closing up with your warm drink because today we're going to be delving into winter essentials that should be in your wardrobe, especially if you live in the UK. So whether you're gearing up for chilly outdoor activities or you want to stay cozy indoors, these essentials I'll be mentioning today should definitely be in your wardrobe. I'll also be sharing some of my favorite brands to shop these essentials from and I'll be leaving links to them in the description box and also showing you pictures and videos of what these look like. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. First item on the list is a winter jacket. You cannot survive winter without a winter jacket. I said what I said. A very good and insulated jacket is a must have for you during this season. When you're getting your winter jacket, make sure to get one that is windproof as well as waterproof so it keeps you warm, especially when it gets windy like it does in Manchester here or when it rains like it does all the time here. Bonus points if these winter jackets are stylish. My favorite brand to shop winter jackets from that are stylish is actually ASOS. ASOS has some of the best winter jackets I've seen and they're usually very colorful, thick, insulated and keep you warm. I got a few from from them last year which I'm still wearing till this year and also during the sample sale where I got a really thick winter jacket for just five pounds like that was an amazing deal for me ASOS is my go-to I'll leave all the links to my favorite winter jackets on ASOS in the description box like I said earlier and let's go on to the second one now let's talk about thermal layers after a winter jacket you definitely want to have thermal layers in your wardrobe think of thermals as your secret weapon against the winter cold wind and rain right thermal tops and bottoms usually locking heat to your body especially the heat gen one without looking bulky does that make sense yeah because most times you want to wear thermals that have fleece but the thing with most thermals that have fleece is they usually end up looking bulky so you can get heat gen or heat tech thermals that usually trap in heat to your body without looking bulky i feel like i'm repeating myself but that's just what i wanted to say for my basic thermals max and spencer has my heart you guys all the thermals i got from max and spencer's earlier this year in january are still in very great shape i brought them out this season and they're still looking unlike some that i got from some other brands that were not really really good i made sure to get thermals from mns because i had been told previously that they have really good thermals another thing is as a black person it's usually very difficult for us to get thermal bottoms that are usually our skin color so there's two ways to go about it the first way which is my favorite is to just get my thermal tights from black girls friendly i recently discovered this brand on instagram and i shopped from them they're based in the uk here and i bought two thermals from them in november it's really good it is our skin tone like i wore it and it really looked like it was my skin that was showing and then it also has fleece underneath which makes you feel warm all day long so yes i would definitely recommend you getting your thermal tights they have three shades i think caramel honey and dark brown from black girls friendly i'll leave a link to the title on your website as well as their instagram page in the description box the other alternative is to actually get brown colored tights that look as close as possible to your skin tone and then layer this on with black transparent or denier tights yeah so what you do is you wear the brown tights that have fleece in them first and then you layer it on with a very transparent looking tights and it works wonders like it just makes it look like you are literally wearing just your legs <laughs> but then you don't know that you're keeping warm inside so i like this thermal tights especially when i want to wear skirts or gowns or things that would allow cold to penetrate underneath the thermal tights i got from mns those ones are heat gen they don't really have fleece in them so what i do is i make sure that i'm wearing those under my jeans or pant trousers so it keeps me warm and locks in the heat to my body no winter wardrobe is complete without a sturdy pair of boots and shoes so what you want to do is make sure to get boots or shoes that are dry and insulated as well as waterproof to help keep you warm and also not allow water to seep into your feet the key to buying winter 
leather boots or shoes is to look for something with good traction so you can navigate slippery roads or when it starts snowing you won't definitely fall so there's a pair of sneakers i really love and then sometime in january when it was snowing i made the gruesome mistake of wearing that pair of sneakers out i almost tripped and fell guys like i almost fell flat on my face that same day i just went to go and get winter boots so you definitely need winter boots if you're going to be wearing sneakers this period as well try and get sneakers that have good traction or friction underneath them so that you don't sleep i don't know about y'all but me my feet is where i get cold so i always make sure to make that part of my body extra warm you know what i mean get gloves for me gloves are usually a 50 50 and i'm saying this because i really do not like the whole stress of taking them off to press my phone in the outdoors and all that but i do have a pair that in case if it gets too chilly i can always use that but most times you probably just catch me with my hands in my jacket and not wearing any gloves i do know that touch screen friendly gloves are an option but most of the ones i've gotten in the past usually do not end up working well on the phone but i saw some at tesco fnf clothing the other day and i'm going to be giving them a try and once i do i'll let you guys know in coming videos how i feel about those gloves because guys it is getting chilly and my hands and my jacket it ain't cutting it anymore at all at all at all this next one you might not believe it but guys winter socks are different from normal socks so winter socks are usually extra thicker than regular socks during winter you want to invest in cozy thermal socks that will keep your feet and toes warm in this season trust me your feet will definitely thank you i usually get mine from either f and f clothing in tesco or from max and spencers either one works for me but the key to wearing winter socks is you're probably going a size higher with your shoes typically my shoe size is a size six but most times when i'm buying sneakers or shoes i always try to go a size higher so i get size seven so that by the time i wear my socks whether it's winter socks or regular socks it doesn't get too tight for me to wear them i don't know about y'all but a hot water bottle is a winter essential in my household yeah i'm literally carrying this right now <laughs> it's on my lap so it's keeping me a little bit warm so what you do is you fill it with hot water not boiling water actually hot water you tuck it into your body <laughs> and it helps you stay warm. You can use this whether you're in bed, sleeping, or you're on the couch. If you're gonna use this to sleep though, please make sure to tighten it very well and not just close it a little bit because you don't want hot water getting on your body. I fill my hot water bottle like three times a day. It's a bit extreme, I know, but that's, it helps me save up on bills. So what I do is in the morning, after I'm done having my bath, I just usually fill it up with hot water and then use the rest to take a morning coffee. In the afternoon, by that time, it's no longer as warm as before, so I I refill it and then I do the same at night before I go to bed. I have like three of these, two for me, one for my husband, but that's just because these hot water bottles are very, very essential. Like they help to keep you warm. One major benefit using hot water bottle does is it helps you save up on your radiator bills. If you turn on your radiator, it's gonna be racking up bills. I know that boiling water does rack up on your um, heating or your gas or whatever, but it, in my opinion, it's much cheaper because guys, you won't believe this. I literally just turned on my heater for the first time today since May imagine how much that has saved me so right now guys if you watched vlogmas day one you know that we have a daily activity we're going to be doing and i'm going to be unboxing the second item in the super drug edit advent calendar yeah all right <laughs> we've unboxed day one which was at the top here you should go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it so i'm just going to unbox day two before we move on okay so yeah here we go let's day two I literally don't know where this is. Oh yeah, found it. So we've got day two, day two, ta-da! Day two, right? Why do I feel like this might be another lip liner? Um, oh guys, it's a, I literally don't know. Oh yeah, guys, this is what is inside. It's a clear gel. This is for your brows. Oh, that is so sweet. I actually do have one of this. I don't think I'll be buying any brow gels for the next six to eight months <laughs> because I do have one already and then I'm going to use this. So yeah, this is what is in day two, guys. It's an eyebrow gel. So yeah, excited. <laughs> the next item is going to be layering pieces. The whole trick to staying warm and stylish in winter is to layer your pieces appropriately. You want to invest in versatile pieces like thermal tops, cozy sweaters, 
and cardigans these days what i do is just wear a thermal top and tight before i then go in with maybe a jumper cardigan and a pair of jeans pro tip guys if you want to wear jeans this season and you want to layer them try to opt for mom and boyfriend jeans what i mean is if you're going to wear a pair of thermal tights before wearing any pair of jeans make sure that the pair of jeans has maybe like a bit of space so i usually like pairing it with my mom jeans my cargo jeans my pant trousers that are loose fitted and this is because i learned earlier this year from a couple of friends that if you wear your thermal tights especially skinny jeans the skinny jeans tend to expand and then by spring or summer when you want to wear those skinny jeans alone it feels a bit looser and doesn't have a really nice grip personally i'm not a very big fan of skinny jeans in the first place but if we're going to wear skinny jeans we're going to wear it appropriately so at any point in time during winter if i'm going to wear skinny jeans out i'll make sure that the skinny jeans is what i just wear on the bottoms i'm not going to wear any thermals on that because i don't want it to expand i want to make sure that my clothes last past one season and i'm able to use them multiple times next we move on to winter hats you guys don't neglect your head a good winter hat such as a beanie that is insulated is an essential for this season especially if you're just coming in maybe from nigeria and you have braids on guys the breeze will blow your brain get a beanie to help keep your scalp warm if you're wearing wigs like me during the season and you're enjoying it you might want to opt for ear muffs because the ears get cold so bad you might also want to opt for a beret i have a red beret i'm so excited to try you guys i'm getting distracted and rambling again let's go back to this anyway ear muffs winter hats and beanies they are very very essential for you this period if you think you can survive winter without a cozy blanket I have a land in London to sell to you. A cozy blanket is an essential. Like when you snuggle under your duvet, especially when it's warm, you won't feel the cold that is blasting from outdoors. What you want to do is wrap yourself in something warm or up for like cozy, snuggly duvets that will keep you warm during this winter season. For winter, the appropriate duvet to use is actually the 13.5 kg one. And then for summer, you have the 10.5 kg. The 10.5 kg one is usually cheaper, yes. But don't make the mistake of using 10.5 kg for a 13.5 kg season. You understand what I'm trying to say? Except if you're staying in a bills inclusive apartment and you can run your heater up every time without any consequences, you know, to your bills or your bank account. But if you're staying in an apartment that is not bills inclusive, guy, girl, drag your ear, get the 13.5 kg blankets. It is very, very essential this season. Okay? Yeah. Another important essential during winter, especially as a black person, is vitamin D supplement. Because we're not getting enough sun during this period, we have to look for ways to take in vitamin D artificially. They sell vitamin D supplements in boots. You can either get the gummies. I personally love the gummies. Those things are really nice. Or you can get the tablets. The tablets are a lot cheaper compared to the gummies, but the gummies are much sweeter. If you're a sweet tooth like me, go for the gummies. I would also advise that you consult a healthcare professional before taking any supplement you guys this is just from my own personal experience so i just use the boots one just to make sure that i get enough vitamin d as recommended by the doctors per day one other thing a lot of people make the mistake of doing in winter is to dress very dreadful boring and not wear color even though it's winter you can still stay stylish and keep warm you can opt for colorful jackets Pick up the pink jacket, pick up the blue jacket, wear something colorful because guys, no matter the season, you have to feel like a queen, especially when you dress up. There's some outfits that you just wear, you just be like, I look good. So just because it's winter does not mean you have to wear just black, gray, and navy blue. Capish? Make sure to invest in colorful pieces that would brighten up your wardrobe, especially during this period. Well, there you have it. My top 10 winter essentials that can help you stay cozy, warm, and stylish this winter season. I hope you found some inspiration for your winter wardrobe. And if you've enjoyed this video, do make sure to subscribe to my channel, put on the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up. You can also drop a comment to let me know if there's any essential I've missed or any essential you will be getting in your wardrobe. Remember that all the links to all my favorite winter essentials are gonna be in the description box below. So you can click on them and shop away. Also, if you're still unsure about what your personal style is, then you definitely want to watch this video that will give you everything you need to know about the basics that should be in your wardrobe, especially as a plus size queen. So make sure to watch this. Until next time, guys, stay warm, stay cozy, and stay stylish. Bye!